Hi, my name is Nuran. I'm from Egypt. Uh, in this video, I will talk about myself and my program. I work in a program I don't know without any team. My working experience that I started learning in programming and robotics field since three years. I have a robotic experience in Lego like NXT and AV3. I have a, I participated in World Robot Olympic WRO competition for the first time, and my team achieved the second place. I started learning in iCool Challenge since January 2020 for the first time. I have a good experience in C++ language. Summary, I will talk about goals and a lot of things. The goals is find object, RGB color sensor, ultrasonic sensor, go to deposit area, avoid the trap, avoid messes up for the wall, avoid leaving the field, possession X and Y and compass. The category is Cospace Rescue under 90. I the problem that I met a lot of challenges such as going to the budget area and the robot was difficultly moving to the collection box so it wastes time in that case the score is minimal uh, the method using RGB color sensor to detect color and collect it using three ultrasonic sensor right left and front sensor to avoid obstacles using position x and y to avoid falling from the map using position X and Y to define an area. Uh, the result, the robot moved to the area which I defined with X and Y easily. I collecting object, avoid the trap, avoid messes up with the wall, so the robot don't waste the time. In that case, the robot score maximum. The challenge mission, to collect object red, black, and sign object, put this collecting things in the collection box to get a high score, avoid the trap to prevent losing points, avoid the messes up with the wall, avoid getting out of the position to avoid freezing the robot. The map can be broken into small pieces by using X and Y position sensor by asking the robot some question, like if you are in the play that I told you, if it's true, then do the action. If it's wrong, the robot will move to another statement. The overall mission can be solved if there is no trap or obstacles in front of it. Algorithms and resource. Avoiding obstacles, go to collection books, collecting objects, and position to not fall from the map. I used an avoid obstacle um, ultrasonic sensor if a statement left wheel and right wheel. Uh, the advantage that the robot will avoid the obstacles without any stacking. Second, to find the object, I used key action duration led left wheel and right wheel. Uh, the advantage that the robot will collect all the objects. That means it may generate a lot of super objects or super plus objects. Algorithms to talk to go to deposit or the collection box. First, I will get the value of position X and Y of the robot and the deposit. Then I will determine with the compass uh, the direction of the robot. Then I will make the range for it from minimum to maximum to go to deposit. And when, uh, when the robot collect more than three objects, he will go to the collection box. I used position X, position Y, compass, left wheel and right wheel, key action, turn to zero degree or 180 or 270 degree. The advantage that the robot will go to the deposit area easily or, or the collection box easily and the robot will not waste any time and the score will get higher. The last thing I will talk about the position. Uh, I put the number of further up, further down, further left and right. Uh, I used position X, position Y, left wheel and width. And, uh, and right wheel, uh, the advantage that the robot will avoid falling from the map and freezing and waste time. I will talk about flow, about my flow chart. I begin as a start and uh, asking the robot if it's with the color sensor object and the uh, loaded object is less than six. If this right, he will collect. If this no, he will ask that if I detecting the yellow color uh, as known as trap. Uh, if yes, he will ask himself if he stay with the left or right or both sensor. If it's with the left, he will turn to the right. If it was a right, he will turn to the left. If it's with the both, he will turn to 180 degrees. If no, he doesn't stay with doesn't see with the two sensor or left sensor or right sensor. Uh, he will ask himself if I detecting the yellow color and the loaded object is equal to zero. He will continue moving forward or backward. Um, uh, if no, he will ask himself if I falling in a trap, if yes, he will set the loaded object to zero. If no, he will ask himself if I is seeing a wall with a left sensor or no. He, if yes, he will turn to the right side. If no, he will ask himself if I see with the right sensor or a boss. If right, he will turn to the left. If all, he will turn to 360 degree and continue moving. Uh, if he doesn't see with all sensor, so um, he will ask himself 
uh, if I detect an orange color and the loaded object equal or more than two, so uh, he will ask himself again, if this condition is right, he will ask himself again, if the color that I detected with this left sensor or right sensor or both, if it with the left, he will turn with the right forward. If it with the right, he will turn to the left forward. If he see with the both, he will deposit the object. So if he doesn't see with the both, he will moving, he will moving and asking if I'm moving to the position. If yes, he will turn to avoid falling and freezing. If no, he will ask himself, is he in this position or this compass or this loaded object? Uh, if yes, he will ask if he in this position, he will ask himself, is uh, I am uh, in this compass? If yes, he will ask if the loaded object with me is less than, uh, more than zero. If yes, he will turn to the deposit area. If no, he will continue moving. So if he not in this position, so he will ask himself, um, is the time that has passed three minutes? Or if yes, the robot will, uh, with the loaded object of more than zero, he will go to deposit and deposit the object. If no, uh, he doesn't have loaded objects, so uh, he will collect. So if the loaded object equals zero, he will not collect until the robot object equals zero. If yes, he will ask if the two objects are red or green or black. If it's red, the robot will not take another object, red, uh, another red object. If it's no, the robot will not collect any other sign. If the robot will have two black, the robot will not take any other black. So, if the time three minutes not passed, he will continue moving with 65% uh, and then moving to up to begin the flowchart from the beginning. So I will talk about the... Okay, in the debugging, the robot performing wasn't as what I have planned or coded exactly. The possible code, uh, I wanted the robot to collect two of each color from the beginning of the next minute of the match. And I wanted the robot to go to the collection box. So uh, how did I fix this issue? Let's see. Uh, I make collecting two objects from each color only. In this case, I added three variables for each color, red, cyan, and black. Then I put each variable, each color number. Then I put the name of the variable in condition uh, greater than two. And then uh, in going to the collection box, I will get a value of position X and Y of the robot and of the deposit. And I will determine with the compass the direction of the robot and make the range for it from minimum to maximum to go to the deposit. When it collect at least more than three objects, he will do this condition. Then. Uh, when I had a problem in the code, I start looking at the debug statues and see what was in the current action to go to the action and had a problem. Uh, it wasn't really great, but it wasn't too bad. Um, if I ask it to solve the same challenge again, I would improve my strategy to go to super object or super plus and get a high score from the beginning of the match. My learning experience, I learned how to make algorithms for the things I want to do. I have gained through the virtual co-space rescue challenge, how to make video and how to measure program by C language and how to develop my strategy and experience in how to program a robot. I would like to share with other co-space participation how to measure an area by position X and Y and how the competition interesting for them to start joining us entering RCAB. And thank you.